Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take apart the ZR Tremolo from Ibanez. That's the zero resistance tremolo. They don't just come apart. You're going to have to remove some little clips and uh, there's no finagling or anything else. It does come apart pretty easily if you know what you're looking for and know what you're doing. Now this is the second one of these bridges that I've taken completely apart to clean and uh, it's pretty simple but you got to be very careful not to lose some very tiny parts so right now you're looking at half of a bridge and you don't want to um, you don't want to lose your order of your saddles okay now the saddles themselves I think are pretty much the same all the way across but if you kind of see that they step up and get higher in the middle then go back down again because of this plate if you can see this plate it goes up in steps but just to be on the safe side whatever order you take them off on make sure you put them back on in the same order just to be on the safe side now on the back of this thing where the fine-tuning adjustments are you'll see that there is a little tiny if I could add some light to this to make it a little bit better for you guys if I can there you go and a better focus job there you go now if you can kind of see there is a little tiny you see a little tiny c-clip right there on the bottom of your fine-tuning adjustments that's the only way you're going to be able to unscrew these guys in order to remove the saddles so the way that I've been doing it is I've got a real fine neo nose pliers and I basically line up the screw where I can get the needle nose pliers on the open end of that clamp or a clip and just kind of line it up and push it off as simple as that there is the little C clamp clip put those off to the side you don't want to lose those little guys and basically after that just unscrew your fine adjustment until it comes completely out now there is a little washer on the fine adjustment tuning adjustment and this is the little washer right here you don't want to lose that keep that with the fine tuner and here we have your saddle now it is spring loaded okay so you don't want to do anything to compromise losing that spring or popping it out so be very careful and I don't think these pins come out to where you can separate these they might be pressed in they might be pinched in I'm not going to remove mine to find out so what I want to do is basically polish this up now so I'll move this out of the way And what I'm using is basically the Mother's Aluminum and Mag Polish, just a little bit on the rag. And kind of just wipe that in, wipe it on a little bit. Now, you're going to get it in the cracks. There's not much, much, uh, <laughs> there's not really too much of a way to stop that. But, uh, oh yeah, one other thing I want to do too, because i got to clean out the inside of the block area. So you unscrew the set screw that locks the block. Very simple to do. Another part you want to move off to the side and don't lose. And flip this puppy over and hopefully your block drops out. Now this block is still in good shape. It's not bad at all. Move that off to the side. And we'll continue to polish up. Polish this up a little bit to clean it up to get it to look like new again. Now with these, I'm not anything that is, I'm going to hand polish right now. I'm not using uh, a Dremel or any type of a tool to do this because I don't want to remove the plating that is on these guys. It seems like this Cosmo Black uh, plating is pretty easy to remove, and I don't feel like removing it. So I'm going to get this thing rubbed out now after. Polishing it. Again, you want to be careful. You don't want to twist this thing up too much and lose that spring that's inside there. 
and then also get into crack area over here where rubbing compound could have gotten into or your polish because you don't want nothing inside there that's going to make this stick close the spring is n these springs that are on here are not very uh, they're not very strong they're a little on the weak side alright so got that polished up pretty good and I want to take a q-tip and go into where the the locking screw goes for locking the saddle down so it doesn't slide forward or backwards a little bit where the string lays and then get inside there where the block is and kind of wipe out any rubbing compounds or polishes that got into there and she looks pretty good to me so I'll put this block back inside there these blocks are a little bit on Painty ass side to get in sometimes. Sometimes they just don't want to drop in, and that one worked out pretty good. Get my set screw here. Try not to cross thread it, it should thread very easily in. Kind of snug it in there so you don't lose that block. Put this off to the side in order with the way that you have taken them off. So I can show you that right now in order with the way that you've taken them off. So I have, if I face the block, if I face this this way, this is the order that these came off in. I'm going to remove another one just in case you really didn't see too well in the first one. So right now I'm going to screw in the fine tuner adjustment. I'm going to take my nose pliers and kind of push the open area of the clip and the clip should come right out there is the clip you don't want to lose these put that off to the side unscrew the fine tuner completely out careful because there is a washer you don't want to lose that washer that's on the fine tuner because that helps with adjusting the tuner to the fine tuning itself and here we have a nice nasty dirty saddle remove the screw the set screw for the block and when I mean block I mean the locking block that locks the that locks the block in. All right, that came out. Examine it, make sure it looks pretty good and it's not worn or nasty as hell. Again, it looks pretty good. And then polish up, polish this thing up again. Same thing I did before. You got rinse. So you got wash, rinse, and repeat six times. All right, welcome back. We're looking at the zero resistant Ibanez bridge. We've disassembled it, cleaned it, and now we're going to put it back together. So it's basically going to be the same thing as disassemble, but in reverse. Right now, I like to take this time and thank everybody who has. Uh, stuck around on my channel my subscribers and welcome all the new subscribers to my channel and hopefully i can keep you guys interest so i'm going to end up putting this thing back together and i'll kind of walk you through a little bit of it and then i'm going to speed up the video so just get it done really quick so right now as you can see i have one of the saddles installed not that big of a deal not very very hard i got snug onto the uh plate right now it's not like torqued down and when I get it back on the guitar and get some strings on it and start setting up the intonation on there then I can go ahead and not really lock things down but kind of get things set up uh, proper to where everything needs to be so right now what you want to do is make sure that 
So right now I have the plate is in line with the order of the saddles. So I want to make sure I put them back on the same way I took them off. I really don't think with this bridge is going to be that much of a big deal because the bridge is in steps for your radius. Not so much uh, the height of the saddles themselves are basically the same. It's the bridge plate that makes the difference for the radius. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start putting this thing back together. So what you want is you don't want to lose that black washer. You want to make sure you hold on to that and doesn't go away or disappear on you. I'm going to take my saddle itself, kind of look it over, you know, squeeze it a little bit to make sure nothing is kind of sticky, that all the parts are free and movable. I'm going to go ahead and put the saddle in place. Grab one of the mounting screws for it or locking screws. Make sure that the locking screw still has its washer on it as well. Allen key. Now I'm not really putting these things in any particular order. Kind of just putting them on just to uh, basically just put it on basically. And what I want to do is uh, get that washer down. There you go. Slide that up in there. And basically what I want to do is once I get the guitar assembled and this mounted back on the guitar that I could start with the intonation and setting everything up as far as the proper way of doing things. So I'm going to snug that up a little bit not make it too tight. Then we'll go ahead and take the fine tuning adjustment. Make sure the washer is on top of this plate, not uh, under it. And go ahead and screw it in. Pretty simple. And go ahead and flip it upside down. Screw the fine tuner in almost all the way. Because you remember, you have a c-clip that has to go on here that's why i was talking about not losing these little clips over here because if you do you're going to have some problems so i'm going to take the c-clip and i'm going to use a pair of needle nose pliers just barely grab grabbing it and i'm going to go ahead and slide that is the reason why i ended up putting the uh fine tuner up as high as i can get it I just dropped it, so do this over again. Barely got a hold of it. Go ahead and slide that right into place, and it should just fall right in once you get it close enough. Turn it, back it out, and make sure that it is in there and it's not going anywhere. So that's good. Okay, right, on to the next one. Do the same thing. Rinse and repeat, right?
All right, so we have a assembled zero resistance Ibanez tremolo. And yes, I got the whammy bar. Pretty soon I'll be getting the uh, pickup plates and my neck holder, and I can start working on other stuff on this thing. So basically that's it. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope this can help out with anybody who has to disassemble and clean or do anything with this. Now this is a different compared to the one that was on here, the sleeve that holds the whammy bar. Uh, this one is more narrower, the other one was a lot more wider, and uh, I like this one better because this one will clear the inside of the body where it's cut out a lot better than what the other one did. And it's the same thing, so not a big deal. So I got the whammy bar installed and uh, can tighten it up. This is a new whammy bar. The only thing that was funny about this, this is the package that the whammy bar came in. Read what that says. Kind of funny, there's a warning on the package. All right, guys, take care, have a good one, and uh, 